France is a great power. <laughs> what kind of what kind of bonkers focus is that? <sighs> Do I really want a bit of Essex? Can I sell it? What's going on everyone? It's me, I've just had a shave rambler here, and today we return once again to Hearts of Iron 4. But not just any old Hearts of Iron 4 video, no, 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 my good viewer. Uh, today we'll be playing a mod called Old Europe 1300, and this was just made by one person. And from what I can tell, it looks absolutely incredible. Uh, now, a lot of it, all, all the screenshots are in Russian, but don't let that put you off. There is an English translation. Um, so, I, I just clicked subscribe on the mod and, and it was automatically in English for me. Thank golly gosh. Because I, 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 like most people in the world, don't speak Russian. But anyway, of course, if you would like more videos, do click that subscribe button with the with the bell and then the, and then the second bell with all notifications. Click the, click the like if you want. Subscribe. Wait, I said that. Comment. Click the like, subscribe, comment, subscribe, comment, like, 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 like. What's your favourite fact about the year 1300? Roll, roll history rambler thing. Welcome to Rambler's History Corner. So a few facts in the dur during the during the 14th century. In 1314 AD was the Battle of Bannockburn in Scotland between Robert de Bruce and a larger force led by Edward II, King of England. Uh, now Robert de Bruce actually routed the English force. Oh my god! And the Scottish victory ensured Scottish independence for the next three centuries at least. In 1326 AD, the Ottoman Empire was founded after the end of the Siege of Bursa after a nine-year siege against Byzantine forces. Whoa! In 1337 was the start of the 100 years kerfuffle between France and England, and in 1340 AD, a French fleet was annihilated! Me, 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 me! And in 1347 was the start of the bubonic plague or the black death as it was known and it's estimated that out of a population of 75 million in europe between 19 and 35 million people uh, lost their lives to the black plague now i know a lot of you uh, are really enjoying the um, history corner segments and I, I, I'm tempted to do a dedicated video uh, on certain subjects so if you want to start a petition to get me to do history corner as its own video do let me know in the comments below <laughs> alright so now we know everything there is to know about um, the 14th century and let's talk a little bit about the mod so the mod tells about the events of the beginning of the 14th century, the struggle for power in the Holy Roman Empire, the expansion of the Ottoman Empire, the struggle for Bohemian inheritance, etc, etc, and the formation of the Aztec Empire. There are 17 nations that have focus trees at the moment, and, and pretty much everything has been um, revamped. So I'll of course leave a link to the description, uh, a link to the mod in the description, uh, and we'll begin. Hmm, this looks like the fella from that Netflix series. Hmm. <laughs> So today I thought it would be fun to play as Luxembourg. Just kidding, I'm not going to play as Luxembourg. Today I thought it would be fun to play as the Papal States because they actually have quite a large focus tree. If I do cover this mod again, which so far I think I really want to, I might play as the Byzantines. I reckon that could be really fun. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be taking on uh, as the Boniface the Eighth, and let's have let's have a giggle. Let's have a giggle down in 1300. So what we have here, you can tell that the entire map has already been redone. And there are only a few um, nations in America. We do have a unique focus tree as the Papal States. And it is a chonky boy. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, we do have... But everything, everything's been changed. So look, you got, you got, it's like a little telescope is the research. Uh, all, all the research has been swapped over to... It's, it's really quite incredible, um, the, the amount of effort that one person has managed to... He's changed the sound effect! Uh, there's even unique portraits. Take a picture of that fella. 
Uh, everything's been changed, so you've got different statehoods, main laws, secondary laws. Uh, it's been changed to a treasury, so what I'm looking forward to is forming an expedition. <laughs> we do have various missions as well. Like, this is kind of bonkers, really, the amount of stuff that's been changed. We only have one military factory. So we'll get some simple swords on the go. It's, it's incredibly impressive. Like, just, just, just look at it. So as the Papal States, you could go down the path of the Antichrist. <laughs> uh, or the a better path of the faith. Or you can go out on your own and bet on our own forces, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I know a lot of you will probably be like, oh, Richard, you should be doing Path of the Antichrist. It'd probably get me more views, yeah. But uh, I want to play how I want to play. They've even changed the freaking how the cities look. There's a little castle. And the infantry's been changed around too. Have the ships. Yes! Oh my giddily goo. New commander. Uh, the commander of the Papal States Legions will be Mustafa the Braveheart. Sure, why not? New commander. Promote Sadi the Third when I can. To be the field marshal of the Papal States. Sure! The independence of the Papal States is oh look at all these orders that we've got. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Flanders has been capitulated. France will probably turn itself into a bit of a chonky boy at some point, I would imagine. England doesn't have a focus tree right now. It's got like a generic one. And even the generic one is looking pretty pretty sweet. No divisions in basic training. 18 combat with. Oh, nice. Ooh, blast furnaces. Did France have a rebellion? <laughs> of course they did. Of course they did. Oh, look at this focus, by the way. France is a great power. <laughs> what kind of what kind of bonkers? focuses that and then i believe as the papal states i can now just start gobbling up annex the orders yeah and then i can start annexing the knights templar i could become a very chunky boy this pleases me this pleases me greatly or i can do state reforms i could join the hre hmm annex the orders first methinks fortress of the templar nay it shall be fortress of the papal states where you can invest in italy oh well, hold on you can build Plunder region? Oh my god. I could buy swords. Boom. Gimme. Hmm. Now if I wanted to form Italy, I could, but I have to, I, I only control Abruzzo, Latinum, and Bologna. All the Italian uh, viewers will be like, ah, why, 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 are you, why are you talking like that? Everything costs money now, rather than political power. I do like all the portraits as well. How did one how did one person have the time to make this? Like it's pretty darn impressive, isn't it? Okay, yeah, let's annex the Knight Templar. Why not? You shall be mine. Kingdom of Scotland's capitulated. Rip Scotland. But we will get the Knights Templar, so I'll control. Ah, do I really want a bit of Essex? Can I sell it? Oh, there's different buildings we can get too. Look at that. Looking forward to seeing what the Byzantine Empire does next. I don't know though. I can't even see. The Mamluks are spreading. Merchants massively leave for the state Byzantine Empire because conditions there are much better. Stop. I'm under economic pressure. Oh, come on. I could form an expedition. Shall we do that? Perhaps you will discover new lands. Sure. Oh, I don't have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough. Okay, so you need actually like thousands of, of dollars. Everyone's putting me under economic pressure. What can I... <laughs> Stop, please. Maybe once I annex all of the knights. Look at all these little cities I'll get. Was it just Montpellier that said no? Are you having a giraffe? I don't think naval invasions are going to work as a... I don't think they work, do they? Apparently I don't have any... Do I have to research the tech? There's a bank! Oh my god. I have to manage an economy. Are you having... I, 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 but... That's why. I didn't have the tech for naval invasions. Bowls! Oh, Moscow recently converted to Catholicism. And are now asking for help. <laughs> no. Got my own problems, mate. Like, look at these all little little bits around Europe that I've got to handle now. It's not going very well. Stupid economy. I could take a loan. I don't know what this does. Oh, I can just take the coins from the bank. I see. I don't really want to do that, do I? Low manpower. I'm, uh, yep, I know. Unassigned divisions. Okay. Maybe I'll forget about taking the rest of the knight's lands. Because this, it, 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 it's not, yeah. Let's just do state reforms. I think eventually I'll have to take stuff. Oh no, I control that too. Naples now has a larger... Oh, oh no, we've done it. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. What? I don't know. This... <laughs> Sweden with the support of the papal region. 
I don't think I gave you permission to attack uh, now, um, fellow Christians, did I? Just business as usual, apparently. Jeez. The expedition was a success. We've discovered new lands. Oh, apparently my... <laughs> my <laughs> I still did it. Yay. Where did I discover the new lands, please? Hello? Hello? Absolute power or a class representative... Yeah, absolute power, come on. Let's, let's be let's be real here. Oh, I do have class representative power at the moment, but no, I want absolute power. Unlimited power. Oh, brilliant. How many troops did that just cost me, I wonder? 8,000! I guess I'll just remain at, at war. I, 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 uh, uh, forget it. Forget it. Forget that. That'll trade of my good buddies, the Kingdom of England. Yeah. <laughs> France keeps having uprisings, doesn't it? Wow. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here <laughs> in my temple. Absolute power's done. Destroy the religious state. Papal states will be known as Lazio. Okay. And then I'm joining the HRE. Oh my god. <laughs> the Austrian king looks so sad. Alexa, can we play Despacito? Oh god, that's an old joke, isn't it? Was it a meme? Was it? I don't know. I'm not up to date with such matters. Oh, a squad of messengers. Why not? Support for Sweden? No! Desertion? Uh, stop deserting, please. My treasury's going down by one a day. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Because my investment in production is 36%, I think. Whoops. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's join the HRE. There is a lot to this mod, and I don't think it all makes sense at the moment, really. It's an incredibly made mod. I don't think all the features are really there yet, though. It would all be fixed if I could just conquer Montpellier. Oh, I can send them a peace offering. Oh! What? Okay, okay, everything's everything's back on track. Freaking peasants. Bologna rebelled, along with my general and most of my divisions. And my division just disintegrated. No, stop, stop counterattacking. I am dead. This didn't go to plan. Uh, TBH did not go to plan at all. I will buy some swords. Thank you. Oh, uh, too late. Ah, jeez. That didn't go to plan, did it? Oh my god. Well, um, that all went terribly. Let's just have a little a little look see at the old Byzantine, shall we? Once a great and powerful empire is now in a sad state. The people hate the Pagalilios dynasty, and the Seljuk Turks are pressing from the east. And the northern nations are waiting for the best moment to attack. Okay, so this is the focus tree for the Byzantine. It's pretty chunky. Uh, let's go for politics. My economy is minus one a day. I'm in such a bad state that I don't even have enough money to find a wife. Oh, there we go. I just reduced production by by one, and then it. And now I'm making money. Um, so yeah, let's 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 find a wife, shall we? Let's get some kitty winkies. Currently at war with Venice, but we'll try and solve that. By just piecing out. I want to keep all my land, thank you. Um, yeah, let's do peace with Venetia. Let's see if I can oppose the Ottomans, shall we? <laughs> they can't really... Um, yeah, there's a lot of focuses that you have to do all 70 days to do this. I imagine I'm meant to do some of the economic stuff. I could just attack them now. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have enough money. Oh, come on. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, I'm really lacking on my swords, aren't I? Building an army... In medieval Europe, it seems to be quite tricky. I'm struggling to even field 30,000 troops. What has happened to the glorious Roman Empire? Wish I could recruit longbowmen. That'd be nice. That'd show them all. Actually, I'm going to retake the core state of Epirus first. Let's test my military. We'll test them. Should be a match for the rebellion... rebelliousness of the Epirates. Could you imagine if I lose this? I think I'll just rage quit the mod if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my production of dueling sword is increasing. Good. My light cavalry arm is going up too. Good. We're getting fortifications up there. Prepare the industries. Good. Not that I really have much industry. Masters of Ro Memories of Rome. Look at that. Nice. Economical problems. That's BS. Oh, we finished the justification. Okay. Come at me, Baro. We will take back our lands that were once lost. Or perish in the attempt. It seems like the balancing of units is is pretty is pretty disastrous at the moment. Like that's that's the one thing. Like your your units just melt. You can see like the amount of equipment that you're losing straight away is is is, is kind of baffling. Need some support companies. Nice. We grow. 
Yep, increase our org. I, I don't really know what else to do at the moment. Um, maybe get some messengers. But yeah, like organization, etc., is a real problem. At least at the moment, I imagine like the I imagine this cavalry unit is just going to melt. In fact, what's the combat width of the cavalry? Eight. That's not good. At least my infantry I changed to twenty combat width. Yeah, I'm just going to sacrifice this territory and just keep my troops equipped up there in the north. I didn't find a wife. Let's form another. Form another wife? No, find one. We must find the wife here. Might be a bit uh, too quick to actually declare war here, but we're going to anyway. Let's just see. Can I beat them here? Oh, yes, very easily. Okay. Mass mob. Mass mob Byzantines. Here we go. Oh, that was Naples. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I might have messed up here. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, I don't have the tech to even invite. Oh, I could just piece them out here. This is a cool mechanic. Yeah, do that. Hey! Oh, wow. I like that peace treaty. Nice. Look, I'm growing. I'm growing bigger. Oh, let me find a wife. Come on. I've only got a 25% chance I'll find my other half. This is the third time I'm doing it. <laughs> Please. Oh, I, I'll, I'll look at that. I love I loved seeing that. Absolute power. Is that toilet roll? Oh, no. It's medicine. <laughs> Whoops. Got a bit confused there. Yes, if I, if I can conquer the uh, Byzantine's main enemy, I guess, at this time, before they can even gain any power, then then I've saved the Empire, in theory. Found another a little uh, annoying bug, at least for me it's a little annoying. If you, it, I, I just wanted to click on that state, but it, it clicks the unit in a different... Oh, there we go. <laughs> just wanted to see if I had any force. Getting close to our... Oh, a new unit, yay. Getting close to our war goal, I guess. I could send them a gift now. JK. Just enacting some war taxes, and then I can do a prepared invasion against the Ottomans. Oh. Alright, 70 days away from launching the invasion. Hopefully this, is, well, this won't be a disaster. <laughs> no idea what's going on here. It appears the supporters of Albrecht are losing. Um, yeah, just a little thing. Where there's so many tiny states now, you get pop-ups for every single tiny thing. It's kind of irritating, um, <laughs> but that's all I can really say. It's, I understand that it hasn't been adapted. So yeah, I don't care that Lorraine has capitulated. What does that have to do with me? <laughs> okay, fourth time's the charm. Okay, 40,000 Byzantine troops to try and take down the Ottoman Baylik. I saw that uh, Japan went to war, I don't, although Japan wasn't a whole nation back then, was it? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really up to date with Japanese history. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, with the amount of nations in this game too, it, it does get a little laggy. Just the amount of features that they've implemented, like you can you can do budget management and all of that jazz. I, I so far haven't done too much, of it. Just <laughs> um, but it's it's quite astounding all of the features that they've implemented. Sixty nine days to erupt some gunpowder. Giggity. Yeah, uh, obviously uh, the papal states didn't really go to plan. What the heck happened? There? Alexander the Braveheart. Sure, why not? Why not? <laughs> what the frick? Why couldn't I get that? Okay, it all comes down to this. Can we take down the Ottomans? If I tried... Oh yeah, okay. I think my infantry are much better than anything we're facing. Oh, oh my giddly goo! The amount of pop-ups I'm getting is too damned high. Yeah, my, it is because my infantry are much better. Then we'll just encircle some of their troops. I'm going for a full conquest here. No peace treaty like we had with Naples. That just came from nowhere. I had no warning that this army of adventurers was coming for me. Are you... Se Lev? What the f... <clears throat> here I was having just a nice little cheeky conquest. And I can't even finish that off before something else disastrous happens to me. Okay, well, the Ottomans take all states, of course. Then I'll have to respond to this army of adventurers. Oh my god! How many troops do they have? Between two and ten divisions. Seems like more than two. Alright then. Boom. Uh, I think that's where I'll, where I'll call it for this mod at the moment. There does seem to be uh, certainly a lot of flexibility to it. Um... And, and the focus trees, wow. Like, you've got years and years of content here. More than I could probably put in one video. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can actually go all the way and restore the... <laughs> restore the Roman... That's going to take you forever. That would be like a mega series. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, I'll leave it here. Um, Papal States didn't go so well. 
Byzantine Empire, we destroyed the Ottomans and regained um, most of uh, Greece. So that was pretty fun. Uh, I imagine France would be quite a fun nation to play as too. But yeah, this the, the work that they've done on the mod is, is absolutely incredible. Like, I doff my invisible cap to you. But yeah, if you'd like me to play this mod again, do let me know in the comments below for like a, maybe a full run through. This could, this could even be like a multi-part series, who knows? And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Katastovic, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Kaiser Davidrust, Tad House, Cobby Was Taken, Active Osprey, Matt Zuvu, Just Made This for Alex, Woo Woo, Vaish, Warren P. George, Gregory Craven, Dave the Don Lambert, Valhalla Halls, Goosey Dibs, Ya yeah Boy, Wombat Cookie, Daff Elkin, Ryan Cock, Jack Truco, Aiden Shear, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, Log and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the patrons too. Other patrons too. Oh my god. <laughs>